So the joke is it's the family business. My grandfather was a city councillor in Sydney. My dad, uh, though born in Sydney, came to Toronto. He was also a city councillor, and perhaps it's just uh, carrying on the tradition. But I, I actually, you know, if you'd asked me 15 years ago if I was ever going to run for office, it would have been a flat no. I was enjoying being a journalist, but um, I was a political journalist, and I was watching where the city was going, and I was also watching where media was going, and realized that uh, at a certain age as a TV journalist, you've got a choice to make as to where you go and what you do and, and, and career options start to change. But I also became um, increasingly disturbed that, that the work of City Hall was being confused by um, a politics that, that had little to do with city building and much more to do with, uh, 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 you know, with, with, with uh, ideological disputes. And, and picking up garbage is not an ideological issue. The height of a building is not an ideological issue. Um, it, the, the, these are, are planning issues and these are, are city building issues and, and um, it was really more, I guess, my, my family's interest in architecture and urban planning that got me into journalism but also got me into politics. And when I saw it not being done as well as it could be being done, the choice that kind of presented itself to me was uh, well, either you get in there and make a difference or you use your, your journalism uh, skills to make a difference and what's it going to be? And at that point in time with the race that was open, um, and with where I was feeling uh, journalism was going, it just made sense to, to, to switch over to politics from being a political commentator to become a political actor. It is uh, gut-wrenching. It, it is putting yourself uh, out there and, and trying to convince a large number of people to take an interest not just in yourself, but also in the platform you put together, and then organizing uh, people who are committed to that set, set of ideas to actually get out there and find other converts and building a movement and if you're not part of a political party you have to build a political party in the ward uh, to move forward and that takes an enormous amount of resources and yet you don't have a lot of money to spend on a campaign it takes a lot of time and campaigns even though they're about a year long are still very short uh, and then there's there's uh, you know all the other things that can happen in, in politics that, that uh, can get in the way so it's, it's a at the end of the day you may have quit your job worked in the campaign for a year you know, poured your heart and soul into it, and you fall 10 votes short. And, and at that point, the next day, you don't have a job, and you've got a campaign to wind down, and, and it's, 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 um, uh, it's a little bit like jumping out of an airplane, hoping you're going to land on the cushion, uh, and, and not really knowing whether the cushion, if it's there, will even comfort your fall. It's, it's quite the experience the first time. The second time, it's a little bit better, and hopefully the third time is a lot easier, because uh, it's nerve-wracking. You know, it, it's, communication is a big one, uh, but it's not just talking, it's listening. Uh, those, are, those are two critical ones. Um, you need to understand how to think within a regulatory system, so you need to understand the law, but you also need to understand how to make the law and how to reform the law. Um, and then you also need to be able to mediate, to facilitate, and to collaborate with, with groups of people that you don't necessarily have a common position with. And, and that's where it gets back to the first thing I said, which is communication. And the most important part of that is being able to listen well. If you don't listen well, um, you, you will get too far out in front of a parade or you get on the wrong street altogether. And, and if you can only speak well um, and your actions aren't followed up with, with uh, a program, uh, it's, it's nice words, it's good talk, it's great aspiration, but it's not good policy and it's not good program. And, and so you've got to be able to do and to think and to talk. But if you can't listen, none of that will work. It's, in sports, there's, there's a, a, a statement that, that, uh, that there's, not, nothing, there's no substitute for speed, that, that if you're quick, um, you have an advantage no matter what you're doing. Uh, and in, in politics, uh, there is no substitute for research. The institutional memory you have, the district you want to represent, or for the jurisdiction you want to serve in, um, whether that's a local neighborhood or a city, the, the research and the memory you have over how decisions have been made, why decisions have been made, where the decisions were being made and, wh and what the context was. The more context you have and the more research you've done around how and why decisions that, that define the area you want to represent have been made before uh, allows you to adapt and move forward more quickly. And those that, that don't do that research and just come to it because they want to be in charge or just come to it because they, they're really good at politics and want to win an election and who don't have the, the historical and institutional memory of, of um, why the, the area is the way it is um, have a very difficult time of envisioning a new place to get to and a new way of getting there. And so uh, 
the most important thing to do is to have done your research and to tie into the political history of, of, of the area you want to represent. I, I really haven't really even considered what the next step is because it's not, probably won't present itself as a step, it'll probably present itself as an opportunity and, and the question then will be, why did I take that opportunity? And it'll probably deal with some frustrations on, on, on this side of the job ledger, but also opportunities on the next side and that's the way the transitions used to be made in my life.